South Africa was going to get two quarters, uh, two thirds of the SKA telescope. And we've got a, a gentleman who was involved with the entire project online, Professor Justin Jonas. Good morning, welcome to Expresso. Good morning. Congratulations, quite a big uh, feat for South Africa getting the SKA telescope. Absolutely, it was fantastic news. And we've been working on this project for a number of years and, and you've been involved with it as well. What does this mean for South Africa? I think no, it, it's, it's just really a fantastic thing for, for South Africa and, and Africa as a whole. No, this is a, a massive uh, um, scientific uh, infrastructure that's going to be coming here. And it's probably one of the biggest in the world. And it really, I think, just changes people's attitude and view of Africa. You know, we, we sort of seen as a, a place where there's resources and perhaps tourism, but now you know, very much uh, science and engineering and technology. Now, we are sharing it with Australia and New Zealand. What does that mean? The, the FK uh, has two very uh, different types of, of antennas, uh, one working in the mid-frequency range and another one in the low-frequency range. In the mid-frequency range, the, the antennas are, are dishes, and we're getting all of the dishes. Australia gets the, the low-frequency antennas, which look more like old television antennas. <laughs> so, uh, no, so uh, no, it's two-thirds of the value of the project comes to, to, to Africa. And do they know which proposed town is going to get, uh, get this in South Africa? Which proposed? Sorry, I, which I, town will be will be uh, be the site for the telescope? Well, the, 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 the South African site is up in the in the Karoo, um, you know, sort of north of, of Carnarvon and, and Williston. Uh, no, so we already uh, have the site established. We're building our Meerkat telescope there at the moment. And uh, I mean, it has been a couple of years in the process, and you guys have been working really hard behind the scenes, putting the whole proposal together. Um, and it must be great to have, have heard those new, that news that uh, we're getting the SKA telescope. Just talk us briefly through the project and what happened over the last couple of years leading up to the big announcement. Uh, well, just sort of briefly, uh, we, we got involved in the SKA back in 2001. Uh, we sort of uh, we'd heard about the, the project and uh, we got started getting involved. And in 2003, we put in an initial offer indicating that we were you know, willing to be a site. In, uh, in 2005, we had to submit a, a first proposal um, and three other countries put in there. And in, in 2006, there was a, an initial down selection to, to just Australia and South Africa. So um, that, that was already back in 2006. Then last year, we submitted our uh, final proposal in September last year. And, um, you know, it was just a, a lot of work that had to go into you know, to preparing that proposal. It was, it was very wide ranging all the way from sort of scientific issues through to social political issues to financial issues. And uh, we got that in on time. And then, you know, the, um, Friday was the, was the outcome of that sort of cum cumulative work. So it's been, been more than a decade of work, really. I think it's absolutely fantastic. A great feat for South Africa. When is the big date? Is it 2024, if I'm not mistaken, when this will be completed? Well, it's completely completed, yes. But uh, no, no, you might think of the project actually starting today. Now, we're building the Meerkat at the moment, and, the, and part of the decision is that the Meerkat telescope that we're building will be um, the first quarter of phase one of the SKA. So um, we, we can, you can think of the project starting now in 2016, Meerkat's working. 2016 SKA Phase 1 starts to be built, probably built by, 2020, uh, by 2020. That's when Phase 2 starts, and then that rolls out through to 2024. So it's a continuous rollout, and, you know, but we'll be, we're already doing science in the Kourou. We've already built CAT-7. Science is already coming. So, so you know, it's a, even though the build is, you know, takes a long time, we get uh, science coming out all along the way. And very importantly, a lot of interaction you know, um, with our international community. Um, you know, South Africa will and is a, a become a destination for, for science. Well, Professor Justin, thank you so much for joining us live online this uh, morning on Expresso. And congratulations to you and your team for this fantastic achievement. And we know we'll be keeping in touch with you, finding out how things are going on the site. And perhaps you could even come out then and pay you a visit. Absolutely, yes. No, 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 it's, uh, we've, we've had the media out there often and uh, it's a beautiful spot. And uh, we really thank the, no, the South African public for, for their support over all this. Um, it's been fantastic. Thank you. And we'll continue to support you all the way. Thanks so much again, Professor Justin Jonas, for joining us on the line. It's Expresso here on SABC3. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.